A very beautiful question to my Acharya Swami Ram Sarup Yogacharya. The question is, please Swami Ji, can you tell what is the way to attain Vairagya? My Acharya Ji answers, in the first step, a person starts feeling that the human body is destructible and death is sure to come. So he thinks that what is the aim of human body? He tries to know about death and birth and main mode of life etc. Though this is not Vairagya, but such thinking is the first step to go forward to indulge in Vairagya. Such person may return back to illusion, attachments etc. But if such person has firm decision to know the above quoted matter, then he makes contact with any learned Acharya of Vedas and starts Vedic worship. Continued worship for a long period of time, that is study of Vedas, name Jap, daily Yajna, Agnihotra, and hard practice of Ashtanga Yoga one day makes the devotee ascetic. Next question, Pranam Guruji, I wanted to know that while sitting in meditation, should one allow whatever thoughts are coming or should one strive to resist them? Especially if the thoughts that arise are negative, what should one do? Please guide me. My Acharji answers my blessings to you. Any thought, whether positive or negative, should be Try to stop while doing meditation. One should be brave devotee and should not worry about fear etc. When any thought enters the mind, a devotee should forcefully destroy it and he should continue his meditation. After some time, the thought will also try to enter. Then immediately devotee should destroy it. The set process should be continued till the thoughts are finally stopped. Last question for today, Shankaracharya was a yogi according to some, but he himself started the theory of Vedanta. You are against it and Swami Dhanan Saraswati was also against the theory of Advaitabad as it is not supporting by, supported by Veda. Why is this contradiction? How can a yogi like Shankaracharya say something that is against the Vedas? My Acharya answers, actually Guru Shankaracharya ji about 1500 years back where philosopher of Vedas. He did Shastra discussion with several gurus at that time and condemned them who were against the Vedas. One man deceived Sri Shankaracharya ji and, and showed himself as a disciple. The man used to give slow poison to Shankaracharya ji and at last Shankaracharya ji died. Then again the man with others spread their own thoughts selling the people that the thoughts were of Shankaracharya ji. One should never think against the Vedas. Thank you so much. Namaste. Om.